yes 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 all right so thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a pleasure to have you join us yes and uh, thank you very very much now we have some 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 wonderful updates we are bringing to you a lot a lot of updates um in this particular video and i'm sure you are going to enjoy that very well yes kudus muhammad transfer update or news is on this channel what is the latest on kudus muhammad's transfer um west ham was the last club who were very much interested in him and seriously hoping to sign this particular fantastic Ghanaian international muhammad kudus what is the very latest on that particular transfer and um how is it going how is it going we are going to bring you all the um, fantastic and latest news on that also um there is a sad news for black stars winger and we are going to delve into that particular one uh, very very sad news and um i'm going to talk about that and uh, also some Ghanaian players played in the europa league um and then uefa conference league um qualifiers yes they played in it and some of their clubs are progressing and progressing very beautifully some of them also being eliminated and all of that i'm going to bring you the details a Ghanaian striker is so much in red hot form scoring 16 goals in 20 appearances in all competitions this season that is remarkable 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 16 20 appearances and you get 16 goals yesterday he scored two goals with one assist we are going to bring you more details about this particular Ghanaian player and i'm sure you are going to enjoy him um i've been talking about him for a while and uh, we will see he's a striker he's a Ghanaian striker yes played for the youth team the under 23s um so he's, he's a top quality player and we will see how things go over there and then we'll talk about baba raman also and um, some other stories do well to stick and stay with us subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us here like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any let me know your thoughts comments views opinions about everything we are going to talk about what do you have to say about all of those issues let me know all of that in the comment section um and we will obviously interact there thank you very much let's continue now let's start from Ghanaian defender baba raman baba raman is um, doing very well for himself in 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 greece okay yes pauk fc that's where he's playing currently and yesterday his club pauk advanced to the next round of europa conference league they beat Hajok split 3-0 at home after a 0-0 um, draw in Croatia. And indeed, Hajok um, Pauk FC has done very well over there. And Baba Raman was very much instrumental in that particular win they got to qualify to the next round of the Europa Conference League. Yes, um, you know that Baba Raman has some sort of, 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 of experience in Europe playing with chelsea not in europe like the uefa competition so but then playing in chelsea and all of that that is europe you get a point yeah and he's doing very well for himself with power fc over there now let's talk about this fantastic Ghanaian winger black stars former black stars player um he's a winger and he's doing very very well the, the amount of goals he's scoring in lodogoretz rasgad is exceptional and for me it's, it's 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 so good for him but then it's just what it is that he doesn't get a chance to play in the black stars proper but then he's doing very well in the uh, europa league qualifiers and um, he scored twice as Ludogorets qualified to the next round of the europa league qualifiers they won 5-1 over astana um and they will be facing ajax fc next in the europa league conference um in the europa league qualifier so that is how things are but bernard tekpete will be potentially facing mohammed kudus if kudus do not leave ajax um in the europa league um qualifiers over there that will be the last round of qualifiers if you're able to eliminate ajax they are qualifying to the main group stages of the europa league and that is how things are so bernard tekpete scoring two goals again and one of his goals oh my oh my what a bullet what a bullet that was it was so wonderful and um that's bernard tekpete also now let's quickly talk about joseph pinzo before we come to talk about kudus muhammad and then we look at the striker now joseph pinzo um scored a penalty for jenk in their game versus olympiacos that is also europa league 
qualifiers. In fact, okay, RC Genk was playing UEFA Champions League qualifiers and then they were eliminated. So they had to drop to Europa League qualifiers. And then with the Europa League qualifiers too, they've been eliminated again by Olympiacos. And that is very, very sad. Now, this is how things turned out. Um, KLC Jeng was leading 1-0, courtesy a penalty scored from by Joseph Pinto. He scored a penalty. And then in the 65th minute, he got a straight red card um, in the 65th minute. And that made KLC Jeng to be, um, they, 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 they were odd. They were played 10 against 11, and in the last minute, yes, in the stoppage time, Olympiacos qualified after getting 1 1 um, in the stoppage time. You remember, or you would know, that um, Olympiacos scored 1 0 or 1 1 0 over Akira C. Jeng when they were playing at home. So it means that Olympiacos qualified 2 1 on aggregate ahead of KRC Jeng. And that is a very, very sad news. Um, those people who bet are saying that, look, Joseph Pinzo actually destroyed a lot of things for them less yesterday. And that's very sad because because of the red card. Because it's the fifth minute if you get a red card. It means that your team will be playing at a disadvantaged position. And that's ex exactly what happened. Now, Mohamed Kudus, what is the latest? We brought you the latest news um, some time ago that West Ham are very much interested in signing him. And they want him to replace Luke Lucas Paqueta, um, who will be moving to Manchester City. Now, yesterday, the news was that the sporting director of West Ham actually found himself in Netherlands trying to convince Ajax to sell Mohamed Kudus to them. Now, the fresh update coming in. In fact, yesterday, the other news was that um, West Ham have reached an agreement with Mohamed Kudus in terms of his personal terms. They've reached a verbal agreement with Mohamed Kudus in terms of his personal terms. Now, this morning, Fabrizio Romano is saying that they are close to reaching an agreement in terms of the personal terms. So, it means that they've not yet reached an agreement but then they are close to reaching an agreement and i'm sure that we will all agree that we should go with the fabrizio romano's one and so um now the other bit of the transfer is that west ham have to convince ajax how to table a bid to ajax and ajax have to accept that bid um so that they will allow muhammad kudos to join west ham united now ajax are demanding in excess of 40 million pounds you know that um, before Ajax wanted 40 million pounds um, from the likes of I Arsenal or Chelsea so that they will allow um, Kudus Mohamed to join those two clubs. But then right now, as where we stand now, Ajax are demanding more than 40 million pounds from West Ham United. I don't know if it's because <laughs> if it's because of the rise deal. You know that the clan rise went to um, Arsenal for around 100 and 105 million pounds. So I don't know if that's because of that. But then that is the news. And um, West Ham are still trying their very best to reach an agreement with Ajax um, before Kudus Mohamed will move. So Kudus have um, or is close to reaching an agreement in terms of personal terms. But then the club West Ham is yet to reach an agreement with Ajax, and we will continue to monitor that deal. Would that deal also suffice? You know that um, Kudus Mohamed actually debunked the rumors that his camp is um, is difficult to to negotiate with when you want to get the player that is the reason why brighton and hove albion's deal did not go through he 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 he, he reacted to that but then that tweet was deleted later on by kudus muhammad and so that is it so let's see if he will be moving to west ham or he will still be staying at ajax today is friday and then maybe throughout the weekend or next weekend um or next week monday tuesday we will see how things go with muhammad kudus now Let's move on to the other stories. We have Ibrahim Sadik, that fantastic um, striker, former um, Ghana under 23 striker who is scoring so many goals in Sweden currently, as I speak to you. In all competitions this season, you know that the Switzerland Swedish league started earlier than the top five European leagues. Yes, and um, in all competitions, in, the, in all the qualifiers, the UEFA qualifiers, they are playing in the league and all of that. He has scored 16 goals. Um, in 20 games, 16 goals in 20 games. It is so, so remarkable for any type of 
striker. And yesterday, his side, BK Hacking, beat Lithuanian giant FK Zagres 5 0. <laughs> that was very, very emphatic. In fact, on aggregate, they ended 8 1 for BK Hacking. So they went away to beat FK Zagres 3 1. And then at home, they won 5 0. Big um, Sa Ibrahim Sadek, the Ghanaian international, scored twice um, as BK Hacking ensured this particular hefty win um, and also qualified to the next round of the Europa League. Yes, um, they qualified to the next round of the Europa League. Um, he just didn't score two goals, but he also assisted one of the goals. So he was involved in three goals in the 5 0 win of BK Hacking. And that is extremely extremely remarkable by um, informed striker Ibrahim Sadek. They are going to face Scottish giant Aberdeen in the next round of the Europa League qualifiers as we bring you the very much update and latest news. Um, Aberdeen is going to be a tough one. Yes, yes, it's going to be a tough one. You are not going to get the 5-0 and if they are going to beat Aberdeen, they are going to struggle. Yes, they have to struggle really well to beat Aberdeen and that's how things are for Ibrahim Sadek. Thank you very much for staying with me for yet another fantastic update on sports 7 j do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us i'll see you in the next update bye bye